Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to tell you about Elon Musk new Tesla robot. So stay connected with us. First, let's cover some of the basics. Robotics is the practice of designing and manufacturing robots, which perform physical tasks for humans and may possess some degree of autonomy. The field is interdisciplinary by nature, connecting to areas like engineering, computer science, and artificial intelligence. While robots of the big screen often demonstrate human traits, the robotics field encompasses everything from humanoid machines to robotic arms that operate in an assembly line. Robots are already assisting humans in completing major surgeries, rescue operations, and climate explorations. While robots fulfill wide-ranging roles, there are certain characteristics that link them under the same umbrella. The robot wasn't a human dressed in a robot costume like last year. Instead, Tesla introduced a functioning robot, albeit with exposed cables and a bit wobbly, at its second annual event. According to Musk, it was the first time it was working without any support, cranes, mechanical mechanisms, or cables. It contains a 2.3 kilowatt hours battery pack, runs on a Tesla SoKi, and has Wi-Fi and LTE connectivity. Demonstrations focused on addressing the robot's joints, like its hands, wrists, or knees, showed how they process data for each joint, then looked for the common areas in each design to find a method using only six different actuators. The human-like hands are a biologically inspired design that engineers say will make them more suitable for picking up objects of various shapes and sizes, holding a 20-point bag, and having a precision grip on small parts. Tesla's autopilot software was moved from its cars to the bot and retooled to work in the new body and environment pitch at Tesla Motion, captured people doing real-world tasks like lifting a box and then using inverse kinetics, repeats the movements using Optimus. Then, online motion adaptation is applied to make it so these tasks aren't so rigid and can be manipulated to take into account an unstructured environment. It will be a fundamental transformation for civilization as we know it," said Musk. He continues to say that Optimus has the potential of two orders of magnitude, a potential improvement of economic output. Musk first announced the Tesla bot at last year's AI Day, promising it would be friendly and potentially revolutionize the company's assembly line and manufacturing business Musk, had warned his fans not to expect the prototype to look like the glossy black and white rendering first shown at last year's event. But there's been no shortage of hype, with Musk calling the robot the most important product development we're doing this year, and predicting that it will have the potential to be more significant than the vehicle business over time. Future applications could include cooking, gardening, or even casual sex partners, Elon Musk has said while claiming that production could start as soon as next year. In the days leading up to AI Day, Robotics experts warned against buying too much into Musk's claims. They've noted that other companies are much further along in developing robots that can walk, run, and even jump, but none are claiming to be close to replacing human labor. Some of the specs of the robot have changed since last year. For instance, the weight of the bot has moved up from 125 pounds to 160 pounds. Perhaps the most interesting part of the Tesla bot roadshow was the repeated reference and crossover with Tesla vehicles, and notably its autopilot strategy. The company said it is leveraging its energy products and using those components for the bot, including battery management. The supercomputer used in Tesla vehicles is also in the Tesla bot, and Tesla is tapping the hardware and software used in its advanced driver assistance system, autopilot for the bot as well. The Tesla bot is also equipped with wireless connectivity, as well as audio support and hardware-level security features, which the company said are important to protect both the robot and the people around the robot. The big looming question is whether all of these efficiencies, once combined in the bot, will result in a scalable robot that works. Of course, Musk said the main problem with the humanoid robot is that it is missing a brain and is unable to problem-solve on its own. Despite its current shortcomings, Musk hopes to have the robot hit the market in three to five years and said when ready it will be an extremely capable machine. The robot's appeal is intended to help streamline factory work and potentially fill roles human employees find less desirable. 
but the production of the humanoids will apparently deviate from Tesla's original mission to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. Investors and financial analysts have expressed skepticism that Tesla will turn to robotics, advising it to focus, instead, on projects closer to Tesla's core business of electric cars. But Mr. Musk said he wanted to solve one of the toughest problems artificial intelligence, how to make a machine that can replace a human. The entrepreneur, who once warned of artificial intelligence being a threat to humanity, said that Tesla wanted to make sure the transition to a society in which robots did the work and people reaped the benefits was a safe one. We always want to be careful we don't go down the Terminator path, he cautioned, referring to a blockbuster film about a killer cyborg. He added that Tesla was building in safeguards, including a stop button that could not be be tampered with. Mr. Musk contended that shareholders would determine if the publicly traded company was socially responsible. What is really impressive is that they got to that level so quickly. What is still a little murky is what exactly the use case is for them to make millions of these, Johnson said. Tesla also discussed its long-delayed self-driving technology at the event. Engineers working on the auto self-driving software described how they train software to choose actions, such as when to merge into traffic, and how they spit up the computer decision-making process. In May, Musk said that the world's most valuable car maker would be worth basically zero without achieving full self-driving capability, and it faces growing regulatory probes as well as technological hurdles. Other companies have developed humanoid robots, including Boston Dynamics Atlas, which can dexterously maneuver through a parkour course, doing jumps and backflips. Musk says that while those other robots are impressive, they lack the ability to make decisions for themselves, are costly, and are made in low volumes. He plans to develop Optimus as an autonomous robot for mass production, with the goal of selling them for less than $20,000 Alexander Kernbaum, interim director of SRI International's Robotics Laboratory, a research institute that developed the humanoid robot proxy, told Bilkin he was impressed with how much Tesla engineers were able to achieve in a year but was pretty disappointed with the Bumble Seed and Optimus demonstrations. It seems like the robot that actually walked Bumble C was likely off-the-shelf tech and designed to let the controls team take an early stab at it, he said. But it isn't surprising the newer prototype, Optimus, didn't work properly, as hardware is hard and takes a lot of time to debug. When it comes to movement, Carlotta Berry a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Rose Holman Institute of Technology in Indiana, found the prototypes to not be as impressive as other humanoid robots from the likes of other companies, like Boston Dynamics, that can do parku. While many of the tasks Optimus is slated to perform may be helpful, Kernbaum pointed out that robots already exist with those capabilities, albeit separately. Optimus is pitched as a general-purpose robot, and I think we are very far away from a time when that will make sense. Possibly not in my lifetime, Kernbaum said. Technology limitations are one reason behind the delay. But a lack of demand is another, he said. Especially when it's easier to develop a robot that's really good at performing one task, like picking strawberries, or to change a factory or logistics facility around to meet the needs of the robot. Thanks for watching. That's all for today. So, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the latest and greatest in technology. Share this video with your friends and leave a comment with your thoughts on the topic. We're constantly uploading new videos, so make sure to check back often for updates. See you in next video.